Allison, how do you formulate the question of what advantages did uh, modern humans have physiologically that uh, allowed them to compete more favorably with some of the alternative species that were around at the same time? Characteristics like wider rib cage or uh, uh, larger skulls, that can be a positive and a negative. I, I don't actually think they had many physiological advantages. I mean, the Neanderthals were, their body plan is adapted to colder environments. That's just like any tr uh, Arctic animal. They have short, the, the lower part of their legs and arms were short. You can see that on here, relative to the body size. Whereas modern humans coming out of Africa, look, they looked like... Um, like African mammals, um, for tropical mammals, they had long legs and arms, which help you lose heat in a, in a very hot climate, whereas short legs and arms help you conserve heat in a, in a cold climate. Um, Neanderthals had bigger bodies, which again helps you hold in the heat. And modern humans had more linear bodies, which helps you lose the heat. So they, they come into Eurasia as tropical animals. But within about 20, 25,000 years, they've become Eurasian mammals. That is, their legs, legs and arms get shorter. Mm -hmm. so, um, so they adapt to Eurasia. It takes a while. But they didn't come in with those physiological adaptations.